Hey guys, Adrian Corn here with Tappy Tennis, and we're doing a redstone. Well, he's doing the redstone tutorial, but we're he's basically showing us how to do a passcode lock. So let's watch and find out. Okay. Hi guys, this is an order sensitive lock, so if they enter the wrong code, it will automatically reset. So for the button pad, you'll need buttons, of course, <laughs> and you'll need. Oh, Adrian. You'll need. Button. Okay. I'll make it look nice. So you put buttons on all far like so. You're gonna want to put torches on the back of those. Oops. Okay. And then a block, block, redstone, and four repeaters. So when you click a button, one line of repeaters should go off. Sorry. AJ, what are you doing? Okay. You're clicking by accident. Next. You're gonna want to line this twice more. So one, and then like that. Um, now that we did that, you're going to want to dig down to one, two. In the middle of these rows, okay? Next, you're going to want to dig one down one over here. Right there, okay? So now, what you're going to want to do is you're going to just line it like this, just four blocks like so. Do that all the way down so it's just 16. Simple math. Okay, just put torches on them. Okay, now that we did that, we can start making the code. The first digit in our code will be this one. You look at what line turns on and knock off the first torch because that's the first digit. Second part is going to be that the second digit, so we knock out the second one. Third digit will be this one. So we're going to knock this one off. Make sure they see the digit up press. And then the fourth one will be like that. So then the third, uh, the last one. Now we put a block there and put redstone right there. If we cover that back up, make sure there's no torch on that block you just broke. So it looks like that and the line should go on. Okay? And then over here, the break where you there's no torch. Put a piece of redstone right there. Now you're gonna want to put that. And then here you're gonna break this. Then line that with redstone all the way up. Like so. And the first one you can just go like this. Okay. So what happens now is we click the first digit, the first one is off, the second digit, the second one's off, third digit, third one's off, and fourth digit, fourth one's off. <clears throat> now to start this part, we're going to do three, and then two, and three, and then two, so it looks like that. And then where you only have two, you're just going to want to put a repeater. And torches right here, they all should invert here. End it off over there. And then two away from that, right there, you're gonna wanna put another block. And in between over there, you're gonna put a block. Okay, next you're gonna wanna put a repeater right there behind all these and put a piece of redstone. For that, we're just gonna put redstone there. Torch, torch, torch. Torch, 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 torch. Okay. Next step is we're gonna just line this up with redstone, like so. Okay. Now that we have that, you're gonna wanna put a block like that over this repeater, basically, that you built. And then, oops. You're going to want to put a redstone torch there, which should get inverted. Okay, so all the torches are off. So now for the next step, which is a little harder. You're going to want to like one block under this torch, put a piece of redstone. Like so. Then break two in front of it. Two. Two. Then go under here and just break that. 
and you can break these two over here. These two over there. Torch, torch, torch. So it's inverted. And over here, it's going to be one piece of redstone and a torch. Then here, two pieces of redstone and then a torch. Then back over here, one and then a torch. So it's one, then two, then one. Now it's basically done. We have to put in the reset line. Let's check it out. And by the way, this over here, this last torch that you see, is going to be your output. So you can connect this to a door. So let's try it out. Then we'll put in the reset. So we click one. First one lights. Click two. Next one's good. Three. Next one's on. Then of course our last one, which will be the output. But now we have to reset it. So just break that. Put down. Break that. Put down. Break that. Put down. Break that. Put okay. Now for the reset ones. I want to put one above here. Like that. And go like this. Two. Two. Good. Here in the back, you're gonna wanna move in the back again. You're gonna wanna put a torch. Torches on the back over here, and then redstone above those torches. Exactly. Yeah. No, I'm recording. Hold on. Oh my god. Sorry. Then just line all this up this. Oh, whoops. Um, so this will reset our password. Just notice, guys, that this is actually C and D's model for um, an earlier version of Minecraft, so it doesn't work now. So this is just an update. Okay, guys? I'm not, this is not my model. Um, Alright, so here, since there's a torch directly under right there, Right here, there's a torch. We we don't want any cross talking, so we're gonna put a repeater and one back, one forward, one back. And now, just line it up with some redstone. Okay. So it looks like that. Now, basically, your passcode lock is finished. But let's hook up a door and check it out, and I'll show you. It works. Actually, let's enter the code. Let's see the torches light up over there. One, two, three, four. Okay. So our output is on, which is over here where I'm standing. Right here is our output. We will want to add a nice repeater. Now we can line that up to an iron door whatsoever. So like that. And we'll hook up an iron door. Oh my god, I'm causing this one. Here, let's try. There, okay. That was weird. Um, so now we just cover that up. Just pull up that. Now pretend this opens up to a house or whatever. So this could open up to a house, whatever, pretend it's your house, beautiful house. Okay. So then obviously we need a reset button. So close the door inside the house and outside if you want. So for that we're gonna go back two, 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 two. Put a repeater here. And then redstone, redstone, redstone. Next, just connect all of it so we can reset it. Okay, and then just bring it down. Right over here. So now, that should be our reset button. Oh, whoops. Uh, put it right there. No. Uh, like that. Like that. Okay. So, now, put a button there, and the door is open, but now we reset it, and it's closed. But let's say you want to close it from the inside, and we need a button, so put that there, put a button, and that's your coded door. 
And let's try it out. So AJ, you want to enter the club? No. Yeah. Okay. One, two, three. three, four. Four. Our door will open, and to close it, we hit the reset button, and it closes. No, I'm locked out. Not. So that's your door. So well, that's mostly the door, but let's say your person who's trying to break in gets the wrong code. First one lights up, second one lights up, but then we get the wrong number. It will shut off the whole system and the door will not open. So even if they try to break in, it will not work. They have to enter the correct code. And then your door will open. We can close it using that. And that's your door. I hope you like it. Comment, rate, like, and subscribe. Thank you. Alright. Bye guys.